All right, so now we're going to review Spy Hard, which stars Leslie Nielsen and Nicolette Sheridan. The plot of this movie is Andy Griffin's character, General Ranker, has a missile which he has threatened to destroy the world with. And, um, but he needs this computer chip in order for that to work. WD-40, a.k.a. Dick Steele, is called onto the case and accepts it to fight General Ranker and stop him from destroying the world, pretty much. This movie is stupid fun. I, I, I love Spy Hard. I remember seeing this movie in theaters 20 years ago. Yes, that's right. This movie came out 20 years ago this year. Wow. Just wow. <laughs> How time has fly, flies by it is unbelievable. The late Leslie Nielsen is just awesome in here. I got nothing bad to say about him. He he makes all the spoof movies he's in work work. Except scary movie movies. We'll get to those. We'll get to those next month. Oh. But we're here to talk about the good spoof movies and the fact that the title alone is a playoff die hard says a lot. The bus scene that reminded me a lot of Speed is fucking awesome. Especially when the dude gets on the bus. Pop quiz, hot shot. Someone gets on the bus without the without paying the fare. What do you do? What do you do? And Ray Charles goes, stop the bus and let him off. Correction. Because I cut the cable. <laughs> so stupid. It's awesome. It's, it's just awesome. The fact that you got Ray Charles driving the fucking bus, even though he can't see where the fuck he's going, says a lot about what the movie's trying to do. The fact that you got Andy Griffin up in this motherfucker as General Ranker is fucking awesome. Because Andy Griffin, r rest in peace, fucking legend. Andy Griffin was awesome. And as I'm watching this movie, I notice... Half the cast in this movie are no longer with us. Leslie Nielsen, Andy Griffin, fucking Ray Charles, Pat Moria. Yes, Mr. Miyagi's in this movie. He's gay in this movie. He's also gone. I'm like, wow. Everybody's in this movie is gone. It was almost kind of hard watching this movie knowing that not, almost the whole cast, half the cast was gone. That's kind of sad. And it only took 20 years. Wow. That that sucks. That that really does suck. I love all the spoofs in this movie. The the, the James Bond type entrance. And the two girls are swimming and they're bumping their heads into each other. That was funny. Uh, from uh, the guy singing the Spy Heart theme song who two years before was in Naked Gun 33 and 1 3rd. Uh, as a cameo appearance as himself, that was kind of, kind of fucking cool. I forgot to point that out in my Naked Gun review, but I pointed it out here. So that was a nice little touch. Um, Nicolette Sheridan is fucking... Oh, oh sweet baby Jesus. Oof. That was, she had a body on that, man. Jesus. Leslie Nelson, you lucky fuck, man. To have worked with something like that. Oof. Oof. I also noticed another little goof as she's walking into the airport and she hits her face on the door and she turns back and smiles at him and she heads in. The people inside the airport are actually looking at them filming it. <laughs> like, can y'all can y'all be regular people and not look directly at the camera while they're filming the scene? That is kind of annoying. Just like that lady in the in Rush Hour 2 was looking at them filming Rush Hour 2 like this. The whole fucking time. The whole fucking time. They're filming a movie. Okay, it's good to see it. To watch it happen. But don't look right in the camera's direction. You know? <laughs> 
but I digress. All in all, Spy Heart is a cheesy ass movie filled with cheesy ass dialogue, but Leslie Nelson makes it work. His assistant also makes everything work. I will give Spy Heart a B plus. Let me know what you guys think about Spy Heart down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What is your favorite Leslie Nelson spoof movie? Let me know down below. And I shall see you later.